Hello, thank you for joining me again. As ever, I really do appreciate it. I want to just talk about our brains. Amazing things that they are, but they can sometimes play tricks on us. They can miss things that are glaringly obvious right under our nose. But that's because we're whirring through life at breakneck speed and we're not smelling the roses, the coffee or anything else around us. So take note of those little things because sometimes it's important. A friend of mine some years ago was preparing some resources for use in a school and I said, come on, I've got 10 minutes spare, I'll give you a hand. So she said, well, I've just done this. I've, I've made this little duck card. And she showed it to me. I said, oh, that's really nice. But one problem. So I turned it back to her and she said, no, it's fine. You know, no problem at all. She says, okay, I know there could be a problem with using duck that they might go on down the rhyming route to places that we don't want to be. But she said, otherwise, that's, that's fine. I said, have another look. And she did and burst out laughing. Her version of a duck had four legs. <laughs> but she had been focusing on the word, the body, and ignoring the legs that were there under her nose. So do take care <laughs> with those bits of detail. And <laughs> if you're proofreading, those bits of detail can easily be missed, which is why proofreaders, I don't know whether they still do, but they used to often read backwards so that your mind wasn't jumping ahead, reading a word that actually isn't there, ignoring a spelling error that you just don't see, even though you know that's not how you spell a word. So again, the brain plays tricks. And I was the optician a few years ago and he handed me the card to read, you know, and you've got those horrible sets of glasses on that look really odd. <laughs> and he said, oh, sorry, it's upside down. I said, that doesn't matter, I can read it. Go on then. <laughs> and I read it just as quickly, upside down. He said, well, how did you do that? I'm a teacher. I'm used to sitting opposite somebody who's reading. So I'm used to seeing words upside down. But if you only see half of a word, say the bottom half of the word is obscured, your brain, it can take over and it can give you the whole word and you can read quite fluently. So yeah, the brain can trick us but the brain sure can help us out. So long as we employ it, but give it little breaks as well, because like the rest of us, it does need them. And I'm about to give mine a break because I know it's been struggling today. So I will love you and leave you and see what your brain has been doing to either help or hinder you so far today. Take care. Thank you for listening.